Hello, Royal folks. Good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of Royal News and Analysis. Before I move on to any further details, I'd really love to thank you all for enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now, and don't forget to press that bell icon. King Charles III has reportedly been ready to make things right with his youngest son, Prince Harry. After their relationship became strained following the Duke of Sussex move away from royal duties, even Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle leveling quite a few accusations recently against Buckingham Palace, the new British monarch has made his wishes for a family reconciliation known, according to a source for Telegraph. Those close to the king insist that he has always made clear how much he loves both of his sons, keeping communication channels open throughout the last few years. Despite the many barbs from California, the insider told the outlet on Tuesday, January 4th, they went on to say that Charles has always been welcoming to Harry and met up with him a few times over the late Queen Elizabeth, Platinum Jubilee. Charles has reiterated that his door remains open, that the Duke and Meghan are welcome at any time. Add the source, he is also reported to set invite Harry and Meghan to his coronation in May. Just a few days prior, Prince Harry also admitted he would like to reconcile with his father and older brother, Prince William. I'd like to get my father back. I'd like to have my brother back. Harry said in a preview for January 8th interview, ITV's Tom Bradby, he also said he wants a family, not an institution, but that the royal family have shown absolutely no willingness to reconcile. Dick Arbiter, 82, the Queen's spokesperson for 12 years, told The Express, Charles is a dad, and this is a family rift. It's not an institutional or constitutional rift. Harry's gone ballistic. That's his right. But we're only hearing one side. We will not hear anything else because if the royal family are wise, they'll remain silent. Charles will be angry and upset because he loves his son. And he's a dad no matter what. Siblings fight and do not necessarily get on with each other. But for a parent to lose his son this way? Very sad. The copies of the memoir, due to be published on Tuesday, have detailed seismic falling out with his brother over his future wife, Meghan Markle, which, it is claimed, led to the grappling. Harry says that William blamed the former actress, difficult, rude, abrasive, triggering a brawl during which he was knocked over and injured after landing on a dog bowl. Harry, 38, said he saw red mist descending on his brother during a heated argument in 2019, claiming William wanted me to hit him back, but I chose not to. The claim is made in the interview with a broadcaster friend, Tom Bradby, which will be aired in full tomorrow. In the trailer for the 90-minute ITV interview released yesterday, the Duke of Sussex said, What was different here was the level of frustration, and I talk about the red mist that I had for so many years. And I saw this red mist in him. He wanted me to hit him back, but I chose not to. So what do you guys think about this news? Do you think King Charles should just forgive Harry and Meghan after everything, after they've done to destroy the family? Write it down in the comment section below and let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling Royal updates, like, subscribe, and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.